ideal cup of coffee should be black, no sugar, no cream. It should uh, taste good from start to finish. It should have a, a nice body, nice thickness, uh, kind of a nice viscosity to it. It should be interesting to drink. It should change a little bit while it cools down. Um, and it, it should match my mood. It has to be hand-picked. It has to be harvested properly. It's got to be dried correctly to the right moisture content. It's got to be hold and shipped and there's brokers involved to send out uh, unroasted coffee beans to roasters. The roasters need to do a good job preparing the bean and then there's a small time frame after it's roasted for me to prepare it into a cup that's drinkable. So there's so many steps involved where the coffee bean can get messed up but it's such a complicated drink but uh, it's so it's basically pretty cheap. The siphon coffee has been around in Japan for a few decades, maybe since the 70s or maybe even longer. It's kind of an older culture, like I think Japan's known for you know, like drinking tea, but they also are really into coffees and this is one of the oldest methods. Well, it controls a lot of the variables, like the when you're heating the glass, the fire that's heating the water will never actually come in contact with the coffee. It basically tries to preserve all the flavor out on the coffee bean. You know, we're trying to uh, express the, the actual brewed beverage the best way without altering what the coffee bean was originally supposed to taste like. As soon as I grind coffee beans, that's when the flavor is released. The, the coffee grinder will, will slice through the cell walls and then all the oils expose. Some of those uh, those aromas or fragrance doesn't translate directly into the cup but that's part of the taste of the coffee bean, like what it smells like. So you want to have the whole experience smelling the coffee beans and then brewing it. So you get kind of a, the entire aspect of what that coffee bean was supposed to be like. If I'm reading a book, I want it to be like maybe a nice Guatemalan coffee where it's kind of just nice and stable and just enjoyable, has a nice aftertaste. Um, or if I'm just, if I want to actually think about the coffee, I, maybe I'll do a Kenyan coffee that tends to be more lemony and maybe a little more floral. It will have a, a nice finish to it, a good body, a nice viscosity, a nice kind of a oily feeling, feeling in it. And something that might um, strengthen or sharpen as it cools down or I might be able to expect what the coffee might taste like while I'm drinking it or it might just kind of change and turn around a little bit and kind of be interesting to drink and surprise me. That's my ideal cup of coffee.